A violent night in Peel region. Good evening to separate shootings here in Mississauga, leaving two people dead and others also injured. We begin steps away from square one, where behind me still very much an active Peel police investigation. Part of this parking lot blocked off across the street from this condo tower here, where one man was killed while sitting in a parked car outside the building. I was around like 11 o'clock and I heard three of the shots and I kind of was like whack, whack, whack. And then I woke up and I was like, what was that? I heard four shots, like they were really loud. Um, I looked out of the window. I saw three cars running away. Um, one of the cars, the door was open. The, um, the driver door was open and it was moving. Police were called to the condo on Webb Drive near Burnham Thorpe and Confederation Parkway just before midnight. Multiple bullet holes could be seen on the driver's side of the victim's car. Investigators are now on the hunt for a suspect vehicle, but have not released a description of it yet. Outside of a uh, condo building just in front of the entrance, reports are from witnesses that uh, a male approached the uh, victim. Shots were fired and uh, the male ran across the uh, roadway into the uh, parking lot. When officers arrived, they uh, observed a male that was in the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, he had suffered uh, multiple uh, gunshot wounds and as a result, result uh, succumbed to his injuries uh, at the scene. This shooting happened just two hours after another man was killed in a drive-by shooting on the 410. It happened on a northbound ramp to Derry Road shortly before 10 p.m. Two passengers, a man and a woman, were also injured. They are now listed in serious condition in hospital. A vehicle was uh, ramping off uh, the 410 onto Derry Road. Uh, my understanding is that the vehicle was looking to turn west on Derry. A vehicle approached it, uh, multiple shots were fired. There were uh, a number of uh, occupants in the vehicle. The passenger in that vehicle uh, succumbed to injuries and died. It's not yet known if these two shootings are related. Police have also not released any further details on the victims. Meanwhile, Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie condemned these two shootings in a series of tweets, also reinforcing her calls to both provincial and federal governments to provide support and funding in combating guns and gangs in this city.